Yeah, yeah, my shit good now. What's happening? One word to describe me? Spectacular, yes. Anyway, look, man, here we are. I'm in a whole nother place, but it's still in Cali. It's a beautiful place, though. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all niggas, bro. Like, this shit is nice. I'm not sure about the violence and everything else, but I don't care about none of that stuff. As long as it's not towards me. We okay with it, you feel me? Hold on. Not that I'm... <laughs> not that I'm okay with violence. I'm just saying, like... It's not my... Ooh. It's not my immediate concern, you feel me? That's nice, like, like, come on, man. I just got here, man. I don't even know nobody here, but I guess they know me. They do the, the farts with the bus and everything else. Anyway, it's like, it, I mean, this place cannot be compared to anywhere I've been, of course not. But if I had to describe it, it has the city hall down there and it has the courthouses so this would be like downtown manhattan where we have the courthouse and everything else like that but you know there's no place like new york city to tell the truth um truly there's really no place i've seen it for myself and i know there's no place like new york city so um everywhere else is little country and they call it city then i'm like eh, this is not the city this is a beautiful place this, the city where I'm from is beautiful too, but it's this, it's not, it's not like, it's not like this. Like, come on, man, it's not palm trees <laughs> and mountains in the scar background. This is not a city, nigga. This shit is nice. Anyway, I'm waiting on my bus right now. Um, yeah, I got this lady stalking me. She looks like she want to beat me up. She's like, get off my lawn, nigga. Nah, she's, she didn't say that. <laughs> Where my phone? Oh, let me show you the percentage, man. We're gonna call this title percentage. Oh, that's my phone, man. I'm bugging. Right now, I kind of clear out. So. Oh, sure. I figured out the problem. Right now, it's at a 42. I figured out how they was doing it. They was using an app to drain my batteries. So, once I figure it out, I clear all the apps in the background. But still, my shit is at a 42, and I have not used it. You feel me? And this phone I've been using since I've been using it, and it's at a 93. Only 2% have died since then. The other one, almost... 40% went off. It was dying by the minute. It was just draining it. Draining. Oh, I wonder how they was doing it. But it doesn't matter. Every time I go to these niggas, is ready for me. Like, they're stalking me. They just they just hate me, my nigga. I just have to come to the realization that not everybody's just going to like you. You have a very strong opinion. And people are just not going to like you. Especially you being black and everything else like that. See, look at this shit. Stretching all the way down to the mountains in the background. Then when you take a look at this too, let me let me show you how this before I finish my sentence. This is nice. Look at all that trees and everything else. If it was New York City and this was the city for real, you would see nothing but tall buildings and uh, skyscrapers. You feel me? You might have to tell people, get the fuck out of the way, motherfucker. <laughs> but here it's kind of peaceful, it's quiet. I mean, sometimes when I come around, I bring the ignorance out of people, you know, and people just act obnoxious, and you see a lot of homeless people and drug addicts popping around, and they're trying to tell me that this is who I am, and they're trying to make it seem like this is who you, like, you feel me? Just to diminish me and diminish who I am as a person so they can justify treating me however they want to treat me you feel me even if i don't use drugs they will put drugs on me so it make it seem like i'm a drug addict so it's because they feel guilty of what they're doing so they have to play something that is a flaw on me so if so they can feel better you feel me so they like i said like they, they can justify it and make it seem as if i'm inhuman or inhumane so they, they can do what they're doing but you know, these people, it's like the information is very new to them. So they just, it's like an excitement. It's like a new toy. 
So everywhere I go, it's like, you know, I mean, they're ready to, like, niggas be ready for it. They're ready for battle type shit. And I'm like, nigga, I'm just one man. Like, I've dealt with so many of you demons. You know, some, most of the time, most people do not know that they possess a demon. You can see that shit in the movies yourself. It's like it has to be cast out of them. It's like the demon is controlling them without even them, without their acknowledgement. The demon is controlling them without their acknowledgement. You don't have to acknowledge the demon and have a contract with the demon or form or some kind of, um, what is it? Some form of, well, you can just use the word contract. You don't have to do that. Demons who possess your body because of the weakness and the things that make them attracted to you. And they don't have to tell you that they they dwell in your domain. They don't have to tell you nothing. They're just there. They're like rodents. They're like roaches. So they're like mice. The mice don't ask you for your permission when it comes into your house. It's going to be there with you, but sometimes you might see little signs of it. Sometimes you wouldn't even know half of the time. But it's there with you, and that's what a demon is. So most of the time, these people are possessed and don't know until I come around and I bring that out of them. And people be like, yeah, I didn't even know this person act like this. And you don't know that a whole community of people act like that until I come around. And it's like, it doesn't matter what somebody says. Like, you shouldn't even behave like that. Don't let nobody get the best of you. Nobody. But it seems like people just wait for people like me to come around and just use it as an excuse to just be as vicious as possible but like you're gonna knees we gonna hurt you <clears throat> and i'm like damn you so mad at me like have you realized that you could be the problem you feel me you gotta look at these things and be like how can you be that outraged about somebody that you do not know it's a fact that they don't know me i'm not like a superstar or anything else like that I don't even have a TV show. I barely have a social media. So it's like, how can you be that outraged about somebody that you do not know, that you've heard of? That, that this person haven't even had the chance to even put an impression upon you. Because that, that, that chance has been robbed of me. You understand? Because I don't have the chance to have a first impression on anybody. Because, as like I said, as soon as I got here, people knew that I was coming. Not people, but the people that know of me knew that I was coming. So my impression of introducing myself to others has been robbed of me. You understand? So every time I approach somebody, like they will look at me from the impression that has been told of me. You feel me? I have been presenting myself in that form. I have no presentation. Like it's like me coming to a place and my work has been presented for me and I didn't even get to elaborate on it. So they're going to look at it from that point of view and judge me from that point of story. They never looked at my point of view. So it's unfair when you see it from that point of view, be like, damn, I can't even, even, I can't, I can't. It's like, so I have to work twice as hard. Yeah, that's my boss, I'll holler at you. No, I be talking, we gonna be talking all day and I ain't got time for that. Oh shit, this is a different transit. All right, hold on, let's see how this shit go.